Holy crap. Oh my god, I've all just built my things. I've all just built my base. Oh, dearie me. What is going on guys and welcome back for another video of myself, Obsidian Gaming. And for today's game is all about Occupy Mars. Now, I've been given this game by the developers, so big shout out to Pyramid Games for this one. And also Key Mailer as well. And the game is a open world sandbox survival game. You've got a colonized Mars. It is also a multiplayer game. If you want to play with your friends, you can do that. And there is a lot of in-depth on this game as well. It really is. So if you play this game, at least do the tutorials. When we try and play free play, it comes up here saying, we advise you're doing a bit of the campaign first because it's gonna be really in-depth. But it's alright, we've looked at a few tutorials. This is the obviously a big map that there is. Uh, I think you can go around the whole of Mars itself, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna pick one of these random spots for us to spawn in. I don't know what is gonna be a good one or a bad place to land. But that's caught me eye a little bit. Why is it highlighted like that? No, I'll just go for that one. Let's get started, shall we? If you've played this game before as well, let me know down in comments. What are your thoughts on this game? Do you want to see this game being streamed on the channel? Let me know. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe so you don't miss out on future content for Occupy Mars. Once you first land, um, just have a look in all these little tubs up here. These little cupboards. There's resources up there we need to start building our first blueprint. I think it's going to be a well that we can build first and I think there's um, solar panels as well we can do so let's have a look at building up for some reason I keep dropping everything on the floor it's such a nightmare to try and pick things up especially the cables you pick the cables up and when you try and put them into your inventory you just drop them on the floor instead really annoying but this is a pre-alpha game it's all pre-release game anyway I think it's pre-alpha I don't know but it's a pre-release anyway it's not released yet so first look <laughs> I can't get my words out. Right, here we go. Let's get a grinder. Let's go and need that. And also a blowtorch as well. So let's get our blowtorch as well. In our inventory, we have a quick selection tab up here as well. So we can just drop and move everything over, like the grinder. Put everything down there, put the blowtorch across. So if you want to use the grinder, just press one and then two, etc. to go use all the other stuff. Oh, there's, oh, okay, yeah, we've got quite a big building over there. We can go and explore, see if there's anything over there. Um, let's have a look in our blueprints. So what have we got? Right, we've not got anything for living. Food, don't have resources. We have a well. So we need to try and get a well built. Um, this is going to be our main base as such, because inside we can sleep, save it, etc. inside as well. I'm not too sure how to rotate everything around yeah I don't know how to rotate it doesn't really tell you much actually when you're doing it oh well screw it it's going there it's going there yeah okay that'll do and uh, we've got our blowtorch out so we need the blowtorch for the building we'll build the well uh, pretty much just looking up as we're doing it to be honest which is quite good We've got all the resources for it, I think. Perfecto. All right, so now we have got water. Do we have to switch it on and power it up? I'm not too sure. So with the pipes, we do have pipes on us. Uh, let's have a look at our inventory again. So where's the water pipes? Well, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with them just yet because this is literally the first time playing it. So I'm really new, so if anyone's got any hints and tips to want to share with the group, let me know down in comments. Would be much helpful. Right, um, what do we do with this other bit? I don't really know. So I'm going to drop it there for now. Do you have to power it up? Let's have a quick check. So there is a socket there, but it does have solar panels. So I believe it should charge itself up. Oh, what's that actually? Okay, so we can fill a water bottle. So we've got no bottles to fill. We can fill the oxygen bottles. Uh, water well, this is 
everything about it really what we've got so we can make production of methane um, oxygen water and energy and this is the usage as well cool it's actually quite good let's say it is really really in depth this game there's a hell of a lot to it so we're going to be fumbling around pretty much on this video trying to get anywhere with it uh, let's get a light pole out we're going to put a light pole right by our base uh, one of the main reasons why I'm building light poles is when I've played it the first time around, I was only out for about 10 or 15 minutes, done a look at the basics, and it turned to night. And when it's night time here, it sucks. It's quite brutal. I can't literally see that in front of me when it's pitch black. Night time comes, you are screwed if you don't have any lights or anything. So first thing to do, guys, is just get yourself some lights. Um, temperature starts dropping as well at night, so you have to be careful of that, and then you can die very easily as well. Uh, do you have to... Okay, yeah, I don't have to keep looking upwards for it. Um, light pole. Now, that needs energy, I reckon. So let's see if this works. Okay, so I've got some energy cables. Connect that. To this, is this going acts as like a generator? No, okay, that doesn't work. Right, okay, so that's blue, and that's yellow, and that's a yellow one. Right, okay, okay. So blue connects to blue, yellow connects to yellow. Quite basic, really. That one, isn't it? Is that something over there in the distance, or is it giant rocks? Uh, solar panel. Let's get a solar panel on a go. We'll stick it here for now. We can always move things around a little bit later on for when we start building our base. I do believe you can get vehicles on this game as well. On the tutorial, you do have like a big digger that you can use with like a big drill on one side and it's got a grabber and everything on it which looks pretty cool. Um, also, there's a ATV on here as well you can get. Uh, right, why do we keep dropping cables? It's actually really annoying. Um, <laughs> stop dropping cables! I want to pick them up. I want to pick you up. Let me pick them up. Stop dropping cables. Right, I'm just going to leave it in my hand. Right. Um, yep, there you go. It's blue. So we was right for that. I've, I've just dropped another cable. Bingo! It's a shame you only get one outlet for the solar panel, isn't it? So to get one light, I've got to build these two pretty much next to each other. I've got a cable over there, a little bit of a trip hazard, but as long as health and safety don't come along, we should be all right. So inside as well, we do have a jackhammer, so we can use that to get minerals from these little rocks. And also, oh God, if you'll let me in, let me in. Quite buggy at times, this game is. <laughs> Um, yeah, inside here as well, we also have a 3D printer. So, for an example, if you want to make a pack of screws, put an iron in there and then start printing, and then the inventory should come up to in here. It should appear in here once you've done it, and then you collect it from there as well, which is quite cool. I think it's quite good. You have a spectral detector, which you go to these rocks and it'll tell you what type of minerals are inside the rocks as well and also it looks for underwater Available supplies as well so it's quite cool um yeah i think before it gets too dark whilst it's only half 12 in the daytime let's make our way over here to this pit let's go well, that wasn't too bad only a nice little short walk um uh, these little boxes what we can do with them what I've discovered, you can actually use the grinder on them and make scrap with them. So you get, what do we get from them? Let's have a look at that small pipe we've got, steel plate, and uh, what else are we picking up from it? Aluminium plate as well. Okay, so if you need them resources, we can use them. Can I use it on it here? No. Can't use a grind on any of them ones. Inside here as well, crap, I thought I'd grind that, bump it up. And we get a few stuff as well, food processing, right. Come back in a minute, grind them down. Let's have a look inside. Actually, what's this? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Um, have I fixed it? 
I don't know what I did, but it stopped. Oh, use. There we go. Okay, yeah. Put electric plates in. Close. Do we just need to charge it? Can we enter it? Battery level 100%. Uh, I don't know how... How do we ride it? Enter. It's not letting me enter it, though. Let's come around this side. What the hell? Is it bugged? <laughs> Alright. Small circuit board. Pick it up. No, that's not working. Why can't we... Why can't we ride it? Enter it. Can you use a blowtorch on it? No, you can't use a blowtorch on it. I don't think it might be glitched. Which sucks if that's the case, because I want to ride it. I want to ride it. I think it'd be quite cool. Uh, e to use. Come on, enter, enter, enter. Right. Um, I'll come back later, later on, maybe. Maybe it might work a little bit later. Um, are these working? I don't know if these are going to be faulty. Let's have a quick check with our cables that we've got. And I'm free. Yeah, they're faulty. We can't use them. And I think it's going to be the same for this as well. Let's have a quick check. Right, they're yellow. And these are blue. Where's my cable gone? Where's my cable? Where, where, where's my cable gone? It says we've got 600 foot. Why do we keep dropping them all on the floor? Why? Crazy. No, don't drop it on the floor. Open. No, it's it just it just wants to drop everything on the floor. Um, right click. No, no, that's not worked. Oh my god, I'm just dropping cables, more cables. <laughs> How are you meant to put your cables back into inventory? What the hell? That super buggy, what the hell? I've just got a big pile of cables. No wonder you start with 600 cables. I'm going to be dropping them around everywhere, all over the floor. Alright, let's go inside. See if this works inside. Yeah, airlock is working. Cool. Can you build on these, I wonder? I wonder if you can do them up, get add power to it, and then restart over here. Oh, I've... I can't reach. Oh my god, I've glitched. I've, I've generally glitched. I can't move left or right then. Okay, let's try that again. So it is a little bit buggy. I'm not going to lie. I've beat around the bush for you. It is a little bit buggy. But it is very early access as well, so it just came out. So I think it has got potential in the future. After a couple of updates, maybe six months time, might come back to it and give it a proper go. Try and do a nice little series on it. But if you do want to see more of this game, don't forget to hit that like button as well. And just let me know down in the comments as well what you think about it. And that's going back outside there. And so with that, um, are they all going back outside? Backpack, can we take that? No, we just, just knock it off the wall. Okay, okay. That's what we do. We just come inside, knock backpacks off the wall. Uh, we've got gas canister. We've got some books and DVDs. I can't really do anything with it. Electronics. Pick you up. Uh, abandoned tablet. Let's have a look at you. Um, use. Dehydration. Oh, great. Uh, we've got Rubik's Cube. Can we take that? No, we'll just give it a push around. Give it a push around the table. Uh, we've got a tool. Can't, can't do anything? No, okay. Yeah, we can't really do too much around here. But I wonder if we just need to add power to the place. That definitely wasn't on the floor, really, was it? I don't know. Right, so what do I need? Let's have a quick look in our inventory again. So, water bottle, um, heat straw, we can switch it around, yep, cool, right, we're safe, we're okay now, we're not going to faint, we're not going to pass out, he says, 
it's getting late though, so <laughs> it's four o'clock. I don't know actually what time it starts getting dark, but I'm gonna guess it's gonna be around six o'clock. Yeah, there's another cable I've left on the floor from earlier. Now that I'm back at a base, I've just seen there's a power outlet here. So I think we might have to add power to our capsule. Which, if that's the case, because that's blue, which is an out, and then yellow is in, like an input. And that's yellow. So let's get a, another solar panel built up around here. Just in case, because last thing I want is everything just to die on us. Yeah, where's the sun? It's getting dark already, isn't it? Oh, God. Uh, number two for the blowtorch. We should be okay around here if it goes dark. We've got a nice big street light outside. I say a big street light outside. I don't have a clue how much light is actually provided on it. Oh, crap. Wrong bit. So, plug you in and plug you in. Winning. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really confused. <laughs> I've come over to the tech tree. So for tech tree, we supposedly unlock new technology and stuff and blueprints. So for the bottom a bit, you need to get the fridge, but I can't do anything around here because I think you might need to get these points up. So on electricity, I've got one there. However, I can't unlock it to to start research on it, it's really weird. Um, but all it does is if you click there, it takes you to the information about it, but not actual doing the research on it. Now, is it automatic, it does it or anything? Does anybody know? Just having a look at our map as well, it seems to be really big. I, I think you can go around the whole of the like planet. Not 100% sure yet, but there's quite a few different things that are over here, like key points what might be points of interest so we've got this place over there and this looks like it could be an abandoned place, same for here we've got a question mark there and there's a question mark above it as well and we are here I think so we can actually add our own waypoints um, let's have a quick check how to do that there we go, icon house I believe my heartbeat is because my stamina was running low, not because I was getting hurt. Which is good, if that is the case. My word. Right, we need to keep going north and don't... I thought that was me. It might not be me, actually. Ooh. Um, yeah, just keep going north, northwest. See if there's anything over this way. That heartbeat thing really makes you think that you're dying, doesn't it? So we're just rocks. Uh, where am I? I'm over here somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Um, I've got to have a look at this then. I was looking for this. But I don't know where that is. And I was over here. Which now I think... Is that me? Yeah, what is me there, isn't it? How have I gone from there to there that quick? Oh wait. Oh my god, I've just realised. This is what I've built. What an idiot, this is what I've actually built. So that's the ship we came in. This here is the well. And these are the two solar panels and that's the light. Oh no. So there is something over there then, isn't there? There is something over that way. <laughs> Right, um, right, since we're over here, let's see if there's anything else in this region then, because we've got a big circle, there must be something close by that we can run to. I don't fancy dying straight away, that's all. If we've got to try and get a little bit of high ground, get up there maybe. I couldn't actually see anything on the high ground, so I'm just making a run for it northbound. North, northwest. So it's nice and easy for us to direct ourselves back to where we came from, just in case anything goes wrong. Um, I'm hoping we come across something pretty decent. 
Hopefully we'll get some blueprints and stuff. Um, I figured out as well you get your blueprints from the tablets that you find, your abandoned tablets. Them little green things we picked up. I'll let you know as well when I'm picking the one up just so if you're playing the game you know what to look for. Eventually as well when I get used to this game, learn all the basics, I'll do a couple, ah bonus. I'll do a couple of tutorial videos as well on how to get started and how you can learn from my mistakes. So we've got one over there, one there, and we've got quite a big one over there as well, isn't it? It looks really big. Right, we could be winning here, guys, as long as the time of the day doesn't kill us because it goes dark. Hopefully there's no monsters on here as well. I don't have a clue about that, if there is or not. This place has definitely seen better days, hasn't it? Uh, can we use these for scrap? Can we get our own thing set up over here? Maybe like a base from... Like home from home or something. Oh, there's a big hole in the side. Um, put your blowtorch away, buddy. What we got there? Right, pack of screws. Don't really know if they go come in handy just yet. Uh, can I stay open up? Nope. Nope. Nothing else in here. I found the toilet and we can use it. <laughs> That's confirmed. We can use the toilet. I don't know where it's going to go when you flush it. I don't know if it's going to work, but hey. There is absolutely nothing on here. It's just a big rust bucket at the moment. Maybe if we come back later on and do some salvaging, maybe? Oh, wait. Let's flush through this bit over here. Can I get through it? I'm being glitched. Come on, buddy. Get through. Get through. Um, can we jump? Come on. Get through, crouch, crouch, can we crouch? Yes, we can crouch. Ah, we've got a tablet, winning. That's the tablet we're looking for. So we go on our inventory. Uh, where's the tablet going to be? Let's go check. Electronics, solar panels. I dropped it on the floor, that's why. So I'll pick it up, press left click again to pull it into the inventory. Well, confusing. Uh, right click and then use. Workshop printer. Nice. What else have we got in here? Uh, food pack. Right, that could come in handy. Uh, crouch to get back out, isn't it? Oh, crouch stuck. No, we're not. We're good. And yeah, we've done this one already, this section. So let's make our way over to the other one then. It's a bit, little bit closer, isn't it? Let's make sure there's nothing of interest outside. A quick run around. No, no, everything looks all right around here. Nothing we need. Um, there's something there as well. So maybe we could like run to that one, to that one, and then make our way back before it gets dark. I don't know what that is over there. Is that the one on the other side of where our base is? Possibly. Fingers crossed this goes to plan. Oh, we've got found something here. We got a seed magazine for potatoes by the looks of it. What else is around here? We've got an MRE. Now, oh, we've got a tablet. I was about to say no tablet, but we've got one. Let's have a quick check. What is this one for? Abandoned tablet use. We've got a industrial energy converters. Nice. Oh, let's open these quickly. What's our time at the moment? 12 o'clock as well, or 5 to 12. So we're doing good for time. Got plenty of daylight. Let's get these oxygen, opened. 50%. Oh, oxygen's really low. That's not good. Look at these. And where was the other one? What was pretty close by to us? Oh, what's this? Oh, first aid kit. Yeah, I'll take that all day long. Thank you very much. Right, so we've been that one. We've been that one. Was it this one it was seen? Is that... Is it one? I don't really know if it is. Nope. Nope. It's just a pile of rocks. However, something has caught my eye. There's something up in the sky. Hopefully it's not too far away and I'm running in a right direction, kind of, towards my base. I don't want to run out of oxygen, but we're on for oxygen actually. Let's have a quick check. Ooh, yeah. Um, we don't have a lot there actually, do we? Oh, it's water. We're okay. Um, yeah, that's alright, so it's not too bad. 
We should be okay for oxygen and water. Don't get me wrong, it's not great at the moment, but it's not too bad. Okay, I don't have a clue where that is. I think it might be a rock or something that's glitched and it just caught my eye, so I ran towards it. And it's a waste of time, it really is. There's nothing up there, I can't do anything with it. <laughs> where am I from where our base is, right? We're here. So if we just run like southwestish, hopefully we might come across our base. Top of water, and I think as well for the blueprints, these blueprints here on the Tetri, I think we just need more electricity for it to then unlock that. Possibly. I could be completely wrong though, but it's worth a try. Southwest, just keep running this way. Right, so once you fill the water bottle, I was running around for ages, wasn't trying to find it. It's here at the bottom. <laughs> I was literally running around trying to find like where's the water bottle gone and I've just dropped it on the floor so make sure when you go in your inventory you pick it up with left click and then left click again and then go in your inventory and then drag it across to your little section over here my word that's confusing then it's what I was saying to you before about how dark it gets and how fast this is at half past nine at night you can't see anything it's crazy you got a flashlight, but when you're running through the desert, my light up there isn't even working for some reason. There's not much point really putting that there, really, was there? God damn it. Yeah, but it's pitch black, so just be aware of that when you are running around night time, because the temperature drops ridiculously as well, so you can freeze very, very quickly, and you get lost. So you're pretty much dead if you're not back at your home base by the time that comes around. Let's sleep to... 10 to 9. Oh, can't sleep more than 8 hours in the chair. Right, okay. So. Let's get some sleep. To top it off as well, my suit battery is actually running low. I don't know how to charge it. <laughs> so if anybody knows who's watching, well, let me know down in the comments, please. I'll be much, much grateful. <laughs> Honestly, I really will be. Um, the game itself does seem promising. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to bash it or anything. A lot of bugs. But it does seem quite promising. I think it's just going to get better and better. It's a very grindy game. So when you do play it, make sure you've got plenty of time yourself. You can't really dip in half hour here and now, unfortunately, to play this game. You do need to give it a good whack when you play it. Um, yeah, it seems alright. The only problem is, it's just hard working out everything as well for what you have to do to start off. So, we need to explore. I think we need to get some more blueprints. Them little tablets that we've been found in um, to get this one unlocked. Because we need to get the technology for the workshop, I do believe. And once we do that, we can make a generator and then start progressing our build a little bit more next time we do a live stream as well this will be the game that we'll be playing we've been playing a lot of greener hell lately absolutely love greener hell but i think we just need to play a couple more games open our horizon a little bit oh there's something really big over there let's try that that's got to have something good but this game yeah it seems to be all right and then if you're anybody wants to jump into our stream let me know when we're live as well just speak to me on comments or if you've got any questions about the game as well so hopefully we'll be able to help each other on one of the live streams maybe however we really do need to get the atv working because there's a couple of places over there but running around in this game it's not the most fun it's not the most exciting for running from one bit to the other bit um, luckily when we run out of stamina we don't really lose the pace so that is one good thing you just have a really annoying heartbeat going on and behind us. But well, fingers crossed we'll find something good over at this place. This place is looking quite promising. There's a lot here, isn't there? Um, what's that there? I don't know what it is. It looks like a forklift truck or something, but it's probably not. Right, so we've got loads of power outlets outside. look inside this bit oh there we go straight away we've got something good abandoned tablet 
it like that's right inventory where is it uh, medium circuit circuit board where is it gone balance tablet there we go use small build in the accumulator took a while but it was worth it as of today off-roading on mars would reach new compatibilities capabilities right okay i think that is what we need for the atv which is good have to look on our little tree tech tree see if we have to do anything else first there's it mechanics Hmm. Hey, what, do, what do you have to do with this lot here? Jackhammer. We have to use a jackhammer for a little bit first, and that will give us points on here, maybe. Because we built electrical equipment, and that's give us points on here. Oh, maybe, maybe that could be the case of what we need to do. It would make sense then, wouldn't it? You get XP points on that like area that you've been building. Up in here as well, get some circuit boards. It's a very big learning curve, isn't it? Our first playthrough on this game. Got a clipboard, got some canisters. What is you? A glass plate? Okay. I'll take that. Around there, we can pick up. No, what's this? What's this inside? A steel plate. Yeah, we don't really need resources at the moment, do we? Right, let's get to the ATV, see if that works. If not, get back to our base and then start trying to use the jackhammer. Maybe I think that's where we've been going wrong. Let's give this bad boy a try. Now we're back here. Is that working? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's doing it. It's doing its job. Um, we can't pick anything up whilst we've got an item in our hand, I'll take it. Let's go break this one down a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. It's quite cool, actually, the way it works. It does it fairly quickly as well. That's good. That'll probably do us for now. Let's take everything off. Right, there we go. Pick them up. Yep. Yeah. Some more silicon rock. Now let's see if this has worked on our little tree. Um, is it mechanics? No, it's not giving us anything extra, is it? Oh, 4.55. Right, 4.55. Let's. Let's exit this. Number four to get our jackhammer out. Just see if we need to do a little bit more. About 4.55, wasn't we? Up. Pick them up, maybe? Yeah, yeah, we're picking them up. I don't know if we're picking them up or dropping them then, that was a little confusing. Let's have a look on our tree again. Yeah, that's gone up. Right, so when it goes to 10, that'll probably give us a point then, wouldn't it? Shame we kind of like learnt this right at the end after playing it for nearly an hour or an hour and a half. <laughs> Available point for technological advancement. New technical advancement, that's what we want. Yes, it's worked. We just gotta use a jack camera on everything around us. Um, I don't know if they'll disappear or they'll stay there, but I don't really need them right now, so I'm not going to pick them all up. Tech tree. We've got one point. Right, 
Right, okay, so once for that's unlocked, we get the blowtorch, but we've got the blowtorch already, so that's what kind of threw me off, to be honest with you. Uh, the electricity side. So to get more electricity points, to get this unlocked. Oh, that's really confusing. Right, so we've got light pole, we've got solar panel. Maybe try to put more light poles down. Have a quick check. Right, let's go on to inventory, not the inventory. No, we need the blueprints. Get another light pole. Uh, I'm gonna stick you down just here. Cool. And blowtorch is there. I don't know if it's a case of just building electrical things. What's well, gonna give us the points? And then connect this up. The output. Go into the input. It's really bright, actually. Now, does that give us anything extra? Some quick check. Still can't do it. Hmm. Still can't do that. That's what's really annoying. That um, we've got blueprint unlocks for this one, but we can't use that one. Mechanics, blow torch. Can we use it on here? Off road. No, but if we get to number twenty, if we get to level XP twenty, we'll be able to get that unlocked. Then will we? Will we? Is that was that gonna work? Right, let's just destroy these here then, shall we? Oh, actually, I think the grinder might work as well. Yes, let's give a grinder a go over here, because it's only local, isn't it? You can upgrade all your things as well, your tools, such as your grinder, so you can harvest metal and scrap from everything else around it, and then I think you can upgrade to level 3 to maybe do some of the buildings what have been left behind. But for level 1, it's pretty much just these little boxes. Like so. Right, let's see if this works. So tech tree. 1.55. No, it's not actually, is it? The grinder's not working for that. I'm getting the electric XP by the looks of it. Right, so the grinder gives you electricity XP. And the jackhammer it gives you XP for the mechanics. Check. It really is a big learning curve on this one. On this game, when you're first starting off. And you pretty much just gotta get used to playing the game itself and the mechanics the way it works and discover new things just through playing it once I get it up and running and I know what to actually do on this game I'll make a little tutorial guide for you as well a little beginner's guide so you can learn from my mistakes How we're looking here now, tech tree. Mechanics. Five. Okay, I'm running quite a bit for this, aren't I? Oof. Holy crap. Oh my god, I've all just built my things. I've all just built my base. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me, how do you defend against this? Meteor shower. Oh, well, at least it didn't get my workshop. Oh my god, it's pummeled the place, isn't it? Oh no, not good, not good. Not good indeed. And what is that actually? It's like part of my base, it's just blew off from over there. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, how long's it going for this? Oh my god, I'd be devastated if I built a really big base and then this happened. Boom! Boom! Okay, and on that note, we are going to call it a day. So stay tuned for our next one. Will we survive the meter shower? Thank you very much for watching as well. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. If you've got any hints and tips for myself and everybody else, oh God, can they actually kill you? I think they probably can, can't they? They look quite powerful. Um, let us know down in comments down below. And in the meantime, stay safe, have a good week, and I'll see you again next time for more Occupy Mars. Bye for now.